After spending enough time with Mario Golf Super Rush, I am left wanting more. But instead of wanting more Mario Golf, the desire is for everybody's golf on the PlayStation 4 and PlayStation 5. With all of the speculation of a new and improved Switch, many think that new hardware isn't required until it's needed for a flagship title like Breath of the Wild 2 or Metroid Prime 4. However, it's clear that we don't need a huge Nintendo title like this to fully display the power of new hardware, as Mario Golf feels almost outclassed in every aspect compared to Everybody's Golf, a game that was released 4 years ago on hardware that was released almost 10 years ago today. From the lack of tournaments in-game, the poor UI, lack of depth with characters, courses feeling empty, no in-game achievement system, outdated visuals, audio, and even the smallest detail including why is the flag always in the hole even when putting. All of these lacking areas is somewhat strange because Mario Golf Super Rush is developed by Camelot Software who created the original Everybody's Golf or Hot Shots on the original PlayStation way back in 1997 before development shifted to clap hands and Camelot moved on to Mario Golf. Mario Golf on the N64 had more characters to unlock out of the box, Advanced Tour on the 3DS had online tournaments, Toadstool Tour on the GameCube had 7 courses which is one more than Super Rush has at launch. Mario Golf Super Rush isn't a bad game, it's just not the one that fans were likely hoping for. After nearly 25 years of developing golf games, basically creating the arcade golf genre, creating 5 golf titles featuring Mario in the title across 5 different generations of hardware, expectations were higher than what was delivered even when compared to some of the previous Mario Golf titles. It feels like too many decisions were made in the interest of adding something new to the formula rather than to deliver a product akin to Mario Kart 8 Deluxe or Super Smash Bros Ultimate. Give us all of the characters, give us all of the courses and all of the other 5 Mario Golf games. Give us characters that feel markedly different outside of their superpower instead of making it a celebration of Mario Golf across 4 decades which has a pattern of working with some of their high profile franchises. It seems another misstep in a Mario Sports franchise. One of the worst things about Mario Golf Super Rush is that in solo play, the game is boring and largely confusing. There are a couple of different modes, but the game doesn't explain which one will benefit you the most, instead it just explains slightly what the mode is. There is no offline tournament mode to unlock new clubs, balls, and other gear. You only have the option to play adventure mode, where you play with your me and you level them up until the story is over, which feels more like lessons as opposed to a story, and a basic standard golf mode which also feels lifeless. The game is built for playing with friends using either local split screen or online in a variety of modes. Sadly, the story mode is extremely boring. You're a rookie who needs to improve your skills, you leave your boarding house, follow a red arrow, and talk to some boring NPCs along the way who offer nothing of value, and trying to find your way using a very unhelpful map can feel like Nintendo is trying to hide the fun. When not playing adventure mode, you can select from 16 characters who have different traits, but are all mainly focused for battle and speed golf and all have less pure golf traits. Most of the characters have very similar archetypes, for example, Bowser, Wario and Donkey Kong are identical. If you want to use a player who has high control and spin, you would need to level up your me. and one decision that could have been made with solo play in mind would have been to offer XP gains for playing outside of adventure mode, but instead you get zero experience which forces you to grind challenges for incremental gains in adventure mode. Why is the default elevation indicator just 1 to 3 arrows up or down instead of actual numbers? To determine your definitive elevation, you need to open up your binoculars and then try to pinpoint the hole to figure it out, which adds a very unnecessary step between you and having fun. Even the N64 version has actual numbers that indicate the elevation on the main screen. The shot bar also doesn't make complete sense as when there is a perfect impact on the shot, it can still pull to the left or the right because it was in the risk zone. The risk should be just that, a risk zone, but if perfect contact is made, why penalize the player? One of the best things about everybody's golf is after a long day, you don't have time to actually go out and golf to the natural sounds from a golf course that can be zen like, grass cutting, wind blowing, birds chirping and the sound of your club hitting the grass and connecting with the ball. In Mario Golf Super Rush, you don't even have the option to turn off the music so either it drives you up the wall or you play with the game on mute. 
Mario Golf Super Rush should have scrapped the story mode and just focus on making this the ultimate Mario Golf package. Story is not necessary for a golf title because for the most part players are happy min-maxing or grinding for the best equipment and trying to beat their previous records. It would have been a nice inclusion if Mario Golf Super Rush had some type of in-game achievement system for milestones that are hard, including hole-in-one, albatross, eagles, putts over 50 feet, chip-ins from a certain distance, and other tough feats that you can achieve on the links. During the Nintendo E3 2021 Direct, they did come out ahead of the release of this game to say that free updates are on the way, such as new characters and courses, and just adding an online tournament to climb your way up the leaderboards would be a very good start. Now, if Nintendo updated Super Mario Party nearly two years later with meaningful features, then I think there is still hope for Mario Golf Super Rush, but as of right now, if I am in the mood for a golf game, I'm gonna turn on the PlayStation and play everybody's golf. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing, leaving a like, and let me know in the comments below what your favorite Mario sports title is.